Full Metal Alchemist Colon Brotherhood, episode 47 and 48. I knew I'd do it eventually. I drew the picture upside down today. <laughs> so sad. How's that? I feel like he's looking at me. Okay, so in the last episode, Al got totally kidnapped. Scary! Episode 47, Messenger of Darkness. Ed finds his dad! Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, he punched him. That was funny. Hohenheim's like, okay, all right, come on guys, let's, I'm gonna go tell you everything now. Ed's having a lot more difficult time accepting this truth than Al. There's a solar eclipse tomorrow, and um, Father is going to be using that somehow. Ed's about to report Mom's last words. Sorry, I couldn't keep my promise. I'm going to have to leave you first. Hohenheim's like, wah! And he's crying, so sad. Ed's a little taken aback by that sight, and he sort of leaves without saying anything else. So he just said that he'll meet her someday. Ed makes himself a new red coat to wear. It's been a while since he's had that on. Oh, and he braids his hair up again, too. Ed asks them, Well, why are you fighting with me? The two Chimera guys and Greed Ling. And the Chimera guys are like, Well, we, you know, we got nothing better to do. Ling's like, I'm not telling. And Al is emerging from the shadows, but he's probably evil. So Ling pops out of the, like, his consciousness pops up, and he's like, No, no, Ed, don't go. Ed, he's evil. Don't do it. And there, Al is evil. Or, like, possessed or something. <sighs> so he's possessed by pride, obviously. Meanwhile, Miles and Grumman are searching for Bradley's body, but they can't find it anywhere. Wait, so is Grumman secretly evil too? <sighs> That's too bad. Meanwhile, back with Ed, he's all freaked out, like, how dare you take the form of my brother? And then Pride's like, no, I, I really am your brother, like, for serious. Ed's got an advantage in this fight against Pride because Pride's not trying to kill Ed or Al, so Pride not so much. Ah, oh, so Greedling is captured, and Pride's like, I'm gonna go attack the people in the town over there if you don't surrender. Oh, smart! He puts out all the lights so there aren't shadows anymore. But there's still the shadow from the moon, so... Alright, but, alright, whatever. Going with it. Pride's real body is somewhere in the forest because Al's always standing close to a big shadow. Pride isn't actually inside of Al. He's just controlling him from the shadows. The Chimera guys go into the forest and start attacking Lil Bradley because he's just standing there like, what do I do without any shadows? Ed has also gone into the forest. Oh no, Gluttony's here too! Do not want! They set the other Chimera guy to attack Gluttony, because no one can see. You just gotta follow your nose and your instincts. But he accidentally hit Ed. Ouch! Ling is talking to Greed, and he's like, Hey, I know how to sense the aura of the homunculus, so let's switch places. So they switch. Oh no, he opened up his eye stomach again. Something just came out of nowhere and killed Gluttony. It's a ninja! With a metal arm! It's Lon Bon! Okay, let's see if there's a scene at the end of this episode. Nope. So let's watch episode 48. Episode 48, A Vow Made Underground. Lon Fon just keeps killing and killing and killing and killing Gluttony. Greed is like, oh, ha, 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 ha. You have been hiding such an excellent woman from me. You're quite a playboy, aren't you? And Link's like, oh, stop. Old guy ninjas here too. As ninjas, they can sense crazy energy like the homunculus and Ed's dad. Has it really been six months since that happened? That is in Lan Fan getting her arm cut off. I don't think six months has been properly conveyed to me. That means six months has passed since Ling got taken over by Greed. The people back in the town are turning all their lights back on, which is dangerous because now there's going to be shadows. Ed asks the old ninja to take him to take him to Pride, I believe. Meanwhile, in Central, Roy is doing more sneaky message delivery stuff. They found a bunch of pictures of Lil Bradley looking the same at <laughs> from like 50 years ago. Why has no one ever noticed that before? They had to have noticed that his son hasn't been aging. <laughs> Oh no! 
some villagers come out of nowhere with a lamp and they're like, what's going on? No, lion chimera guy. Now a fire has started. So there's gonna be lots of shadows. Yay, Ed saves the day. Okay, so, all right. Madam Christmas is secretly Roy's foster mother? They escape into the sewers. Bye, see you later. Roy meets up with Risa, um, uh, Fury, and Breda. And a puppy. They know the fact that Bradley's missing is either like the best chance ever or a trap. Either way, they still have to act. Only order I have for you guys is not to die because I need you to help rebuild this nation after I become the Fuhrer. Meanwhile, Ed is still fighting Lil Bradley. Oh no, Al's being controlled again. No, I don't like to see the pride eyes in his eyes. But it was all a trick of some kind. And Al comes out of nowhere, and then there's a flash bomb. And I guess the shadows have disconnected from Al, which frees him? Yay, he's free. Everyone has regathered again to fight against, um, what's his face? Lil Bradley, Pride, whatever. Seems to me that Pride has turned on Gluttony and he's gonna gobble him up. Yeah, he ate his Philosopher's Stone. Oh no, so now Pride has all of Gluttony's powers and he knows Hohenheim is nearby too. Ah, the end! And there is a scene at the end of this episode. Father is chatting with his like evil henchman and Armstrong. She's not evil, I know it. So you guys all know Roy better than me. What do you think he's gonna be doing right now? And Olivier Armstrong suggests, I bet he's going to take Mrs. Bradley hostage. I think these two talked before, cause you never know what's going on with Roy. He just, ever since he pretended to kill Maria Ross, I just, I don't take anything he does or says at face value. <laughs> Turns out that is what he's doing. He is taking Mrs. Bradley hostage. It's all part of a bigger plan though. Okay, so that's that. I mean, so maybe Al is gonna get better. Ed and all those folks have to get to Central because I don't think Father's plan will eventually come true, but I think they have to at least get into the situation where it seems like it might come true, and so we worry more. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you next time for 49 and 50. That's all. Bye.